Hi guys, I'm a Jack Hammer 451 and I'm here to talk to you about how to train around a shoulder injury. So first off, it's always better to train around an injury than through an injury. Training through an injury might sound cool in the beginning, but that usually leads to an even bigger injury and bigger downtime. And by result, less gains and less progress. And I think nobody wants that. So first point. I'm, I'm talking about personal experience here. How did I injure myself? Benching. Uh, what caused the injury if I didn't injure myself in all the years of benching? Simple overuse. In my case, I, I seriously still don't know how I injured myself precisely. I can only speculate. But uh, my conclusion is that I was doing benching and not enough rowing variations enough pulling movements so that snapped my shoulder. So first course of action is to switch up my training. If I injure myself benching, therefore I can no longer bench. But just because I cannot bench doesn't mean I, I cannot still put in productive work in the gym. So the way I chose to go around it is by switching the bench with the overhead press. I think most lifters at some point are going to do that if they have a serious shoulder injury or in this case just an overuse injury but this is one of the best course of actions to still have productive work time on the gym. So there's two ways of rehab, the lazy way and the complete way. The complete way is basically going through an entire, basically the entire process described in any shoulder injury rehab course or video. I like and carry has one just if you want to watch that. I'm not a prof uh, medical professional so please check some other sources out. So in any case you would add a bunch of exercise to you know heal up your, sh your shoulder joint, the rotator cuff mainly. So there's that. And there's the lazy way, the way I chose, which is as I said switching up the bench press with the overhead press the overhead press, believe it or not, is somewhat of a rejuvenating exercise, sort of like the reverse hyper for the lower back. In the sense that since the scapula moves, it has blood flow and it heal and in most cases heals up the shoulder joint. So what are the results? I cannot I cannot speak from personal experience, but you can look up on YouTube certain individuals such as Pete Rubich, how he got over a shoulder injury. Uh, I'm still yet to find out because, as I said, I'm still recovering. But I honestly will only do benching one year from my injury, which would be around August of 2022. I, will, I wouldn't advise that amount of time off if you really care about benching. That's just what I'm doing. So that's it for today, guys. I know it was a short, a short video, but there's not much I can talk about this. But, you know. A little grain of experience might help someone. See you next video.